today we're going to be creating some neurographic art and our focus is really on sticking to kind of organic shapes. So for this you are going to uh, be going kind of off the page and heading for the edge of another side of the page. So you're going to use a black sharpie, try to find one that works really well. And then you're just going to come in and you're going to start to make lines. They can swirl. And again, you're going off another edge of the page. I would aim for about five different lines um, coming from different edges. And you can be as swirly as you like with them. And the goal is just to focus. So that's two. Three. I'm gonna make this one just kind of go through the whole page. Four. And I'm gonna do one more. Again, you are going from one edge of the paper to another edge. Once you're done with that, you're gonna be, this is where the real focus comes in. You're gonna be looking to round out every corner that you see. So I'm gonna come in and anytime that I see a corner, a little point, I'm gonna round it out. So I'm gonna create a curve and I'm gonna fill it in with my marker. Please keep in mind that we don't wanna be um, staining the tables. If you need a messy mat, please get one. I'm looking for every corner and filling it in. You can also kind of thicken up some of those lines as you work. This part's gonna take you some time and you're really gonna have to look kind of close at your artwork to see where those sharp corners are. And I've got lots of them. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of speed this up so you can see um, where I'm heading with it. And again, you can thicken the lines a little in certain places. Um, variety of line is gonna be a lot more interesting. And please take your time with this. If, it, um, if you go too fast, it's not gonna get the effect. Um, and there's no reason to be rushing. Take your time, relax. This is kind of a, it's a practice in meditation if you let it be. We're gonna have a low level of noise during this. And I'm looking for those points and curbing my lines, thickening it here and there. All right, I'm gonna put it into super speed and see where we get to. Okay, so you can see I have only finished this portion. I still have all of this to go, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you, um, pretend I have finished the whole thing because I'm gonna go ahead and speed ahead. Once we are ready for color, which make sure you have somebody next to you check for sharp corners because once you're looking at this for a while, it can be um, it can all kind of blur together. So we're gonna use watercolor pencils. When you are using watercolor pencils, you need to make sure there are bins like this. They say watercolor pencils on the side. Uh, try to take the one with your table name so that each day you have the same pencils. Also double check that there is a little paintbrush on the side. Sometimes people put regular colored pencils in there and then you, the you'll go to try to put water on it and it won't work. So what you're gonna do I would use at least two colors in each of the box, in each of the organic shapes. Think about colors that go well together. If it's um, two secondary colors like green and orange, they're going to look nice next to each other, but trying to blend them together is not going to look so pretty. So I think I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to do blue and green, I think would look pretty. So I'm just going to come in. And I'm going to do kind of a darker shading. Remember to color in one direction. Try to stick within your section there. And then I'm going to come from the other side of that part of the shape here. Come in a little darker and then let it fade light again. And then I would do this in all the sections. And then you're gonna come in with your brush and a thing of water. Do not tap on the water bucket, take off extra water like that. Um, and then I'm just gonna go over my pencil. 
and that's gonna turn it into paint. I would wait to turn it into paint until you finish coloring in all the bubbles. And then just make sure you clean your brush as if you are using paint. Clean your brush between sections unless you're doing the same colors. Okay, so there's one. I'll show you another one maybe with warm colors. And really just take your time. Um, I'm gonna do one that's kind of away from the other one while that one dries so that I don't mess up um, and get my colors running together at all. It's a curved um, shape, so I'm kind of coloring with a curve a little bit. And again, I'm going a little darker and then fading a little lighter. And I think I'm gonna do orange on the other half. So I'm gonna, again, go darker towards the other side and then fade lighter. I'm gonna have a nice clean brush. I'm gonna get off my excess water, make sure my brush has all that blue and green out. And I'm gonna start from one end and come toward the other end. I'm gonna stick to the red first and then I'm gonna go right down into the orange. Creates kind of a really cool blend. Okay, that's another section. So again, you need to finish all the Sharpie, getting rid of all the hard corners um, before you're able to start the coloring step. Make sure that you have checked in with me and if I'm not there to check it, make sure you've checked in with a friend to make sure that all your sharp corners are gone before you start the coloring step. Um, and please make sure that at the end of class, the watercolor pencils are put back in the cabinet and the water buckets and paintbrushes are cleaned out and put away. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the lines first. Remember, I would go five lines from one side of the paper, twisty as you want, to the other side. They should always go from one side and go off any of the other sides. All right, 